In this video, we're going to be going over how to install AirLeds Kit 61. Note, Kit 62 can use the same video, but it's for a six position connector. The tools you'll need are a black Sharpie, an X-Acto knife, wire strippers, wire cutters, and needle nose pliers. Kit 61 includes a four position male connector in the four pins and a female connector in the four sockets. In this video, we're showing how to wire our navigational Navstro position light, which is four wires. To start, let's grab the four pins out of the male connector side. Place the first wire in the male pin and mark appropriately. Use your wire stripper to strip it at that length. Use the needle nose to crimp over the insulation section of the wire first. Once that's done, you can crimp over the exposed wire. Here is an image showing a properly crimped connection. Do a pull test to make sure it's mechanically sound. Since the green wire is smaller in diameter, we're going to fold it over itself to increase the connection when crimping. Here's the four wires once completed. Now from the male side of the kit, we're going to grab the connector. Note that all four slots are facing inward. Place the first male socket into the connector. Make sure that the triangle latches and is inward facing. You should hear a click. Repeat for the other three. Next, grab your needle nose pliers and grab hold of the two center rectangles and press downwards. You should hear a snap. Now you should be able to see the pins are going all the way through. Now, grab the female four position connector and the 18 gauge four conductor wire and mark as shown. Using an X-Acto knife, lightly score the perimeter of the insulation and then slit down the center. Now you can remove the sleeving. Move the shielding away so you have better access to the four wires. Twist the shield to clean it and keep it out of the way. Next, grab the socket ends of the female kit. Place the first wire into the socket and mark as shown. Use the wire strippers to strip at that length. Again, using the needle nose plier, crimp the insulation of the wire first. Next, crimp the exposed section of the wire. Always do a pull test to make sure it's mechanically well connected. Repeat the crimping process for the other three wires. Next, grab the female four position connector. Note the slots are outward facing. Place the first socket into position. Noting the tab is outward and you should hear a clicking sound. Repeat the process for all four wires. Use your thumb to press down on the top face and it will snap into position. Now you can connect both the male and female connectors. You should hear the clicking sound. Pull to make sure it's a rigid connection. If needed, pull down on the lever to remove the two connections. The next section of this video is going to show how to remove a pin or socket. You will need the removal tool or a paper clip and also needle nose pliers and a flathead. Note the two rectangular shapes in the male connector. Use the needle nose to pull the body up and you'll hear a snapping sound. You can also see now that the pins are in the lower position. If available, grab the tool marked as shown or alternately use a paper clip. Press the tool straight down until you hear a clicking sound. Now you should be able to remove the wire. Next, grab the flathead and the female connector side. Place the flathead under the tab and press upwards. Now use the tool or again, the paper clip as an alternate. You should hear a snapping sound. And once you do, you can remove the wire. 